Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special holiday edition of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for this Tuesday, December 22nd, 2015. We are three days away from Christmas. And boy, the excitement is building for my favorite holiday. And the Price is Right today had its second show of this holiday week. So, time to start off with the festivities by playing the background music you'll be hearing for this recap. Barlow Girl, Home for Christmas, an album I have used in past Christmas-themed recaps. And it'll begin with the first four contestants that were called to come on down. First four contestants were Caitlin Clark, William Watkins, Travis Freitas, and Vivian Hawkins. They were the first four contestants on The Price is Right. And at the handoff today, the gorgeous Gwendolyn Osborne Smith, Sports Guy 528's favorite model, gave Drew the mic. The first item up for bids was a Butterfly Premium Rollaway 19 Ping Pong Table. Accessories included, modeled by New York City 7's favorite model, the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. The bids were, Caitlin, $475, William, $600, Travis, $650, and Vivian, $651. And the actual retail price of the ping pong table was $1,029. Vivian was the first contestant to play a pricing game. And she joined Drew at door number two to play it. Vivian was wearing a shirt that said, Drew came to see you from Hannibal, Missouri. That was on the front. And on the back it said, Ho, ho, ho on the price is right. And now for Vivian, she was going to have a chance to win something that would be in everyone's stocking this Christmas. A chance to win $10,000 in cash! As Vivian was playing, half off. Now Rachel had the small prizes on her left, while Gwendolyn had the small prizes on her right. The first two small prizes were a Yonana soft serve dessert maker and a Black & Decker Professional Steam Iron. The dessert maker was priced at $130, and the steam iron was priced at $15. One of those prices was the half-off price, of course. Vivian believed it was the iron, and Gwendolyn revealed the price to be $30! That was the half-off price. The eight boxes that went away were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 13, and 16. The next two small prizes were a Smart Tech Deluxe Battery Operated Fabric Shaver and a Conair Secret Wave Styler. The Fabric Shaver was priced at $28, while the Secret Wave Styler was priced at $30. Vivian believed the Fabric Shaver was the half-off price, and Rachel revealed the price to be $28. That wasn't the half-off price. Should have chose the Secret Wave style. That was $60, not $30. Okay, the final two small prizes were the Copper Fit Compression Knee Sleeve and a Cordless 14.4 Volt Hand Vacuum. The Knee Sleeve was priced at $10. The Hand Vacuum was priced at $36. Vivian believed the knee sleeve was the half-off price. And Rachel revealed the price to be... Mm -mm, $10. Should have chose the hand vacuum. That was $72. Well, Vivian still had a 1 out of 8 chance of finding the box that had $10,000 inside. Now, with 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, and 15 left to choose... Vivian said that she had two grandsons that were both 11 and 14. 
But she also mentioned she had two grandsons that were 11 years old. So she went with box number 11. So Rachel brought box 11 over to Vivian. And when it was time for Vivian to open the box, inside there was... $10,000! Vivian won the money! Oh, what a great start! Money, 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 money for her! And she also won the dessert maker and the steam iron, totaling $160. So right there, Vivian won $10,160 in cash and small prizes. And including the ping pong table, Vivian currently won $11,189 in cash and prizes. Alright, the next contestant that was called to come on down by George's voice was... Amy Belliston. Amy spells her name A-I-M-E-E. -E. The next item up for bids was brought down from the jewelry elevator, which was a Creo Ladies Designer watch collection. It included two watches with leather strap and a rubber-coated metal case, one style with silicone strap and an engraved sunray dial, and one with a nylon strap and polished stainless steel case. And there was good news for the audience because everyone who was in, at, who was at, in attendance was, was going to receive a Creo Easy Model Watch. And if you at home would like your very own Easy Model Watch from Creo, simply go to PricesRight.com to find out how. Well, that's a nice gift for uh, everyone who was at that show. Now on to the bids. Amy... $499, Caitlin, $300, William, $400, and Travis, $500. And the actual retail price of the designer watch collection from Crayo was $580. Travis was the second contestant to play a pricing game, and he was going to play it up on the turntable. Travis was wearing a t-shirt that mentioned where he's from. Pismo Beach, California. And now Travis from Pismo Beach was going to have a chance to win a pair of Vespa Primavera motor scooters with two Bluetooth helmets included, modeled by Gwendolyn. Sorry about that. Uh, the pricing game Travis was playing was flip-flop. The wrong price for the motor scooters was $5,798. Travis could either flip to make the price $7,598, or he could flop to make the price $5,789, or he could flip and flop to make the price $7,589. Travis chose to flip, but it almost looked like he was going to flop as well, but he stayed put on flip. $7,598 was the price he believed the motor scooters cost. And when Drew let Travis press the button to reveal the actual retail price of the motor scooters, it turned out that they were... $7,598! Travis won the motor scooters! And including the Ladies Designer Watch Collection, Travis currently won $8,178 in prizes. Alright, we're two for two on wins. Nice. The next contestant that was called to come on down was Nicole George Head. And the next item up for bids was a Sprint 32 gig smartphone with a one-year calling plan with unlimited data, talk, and text included. That was modeled by Gwendolyn and Rachel. The bids were Nicole, $1,100. Amy, $799. Caitlin, $1,101. And William, $1. And 
The actual retail price of the smartphone from Sprint was $1,272. Caitlin was the third contestant to play a pricing game. And she was going to play it up on the turntable. And the prize Caitlin had a chance to win was a prize that hasn't been seen in the first half as of yet until now. It was a new car! It was a 2016 Hyundai Accent SE. Came equipped with a 1.6 liter engine, 6 speed automatic transmission, and front wheel drive. It's the Hyundai Accent modeled by Gwendolyn. A prize worth $16,570. Caitlin was playing Grocery Game. Hmm. Very interesting for Grocery Game to be played for a car. It has been won before in the past. wonder if it was won today. Well, you're going to find out. Rachel, of course, was the Grocery Game cashier. And here were the six grocery products. Excuse me, five grocery products. They were a 17-ounce box of Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal, a 1.1-ounce pack of miracle Grow Indoor Plant Food Spikes, a 2-ounce bag of Airheads Extremes Bites Rainbow Berry Candy, a 75-square-foot roll of Reynolds Cut Right Wax Paper, and Tasty Cake Minis Peanut Butter Flavored Cupcakes. Eight packs of three. Now, I'm not quite sure what the theme of the grocery products here was, but perhaps you at home were able to figure it out. I really couldn't. Maybe there was no theme. All right. For Caitlin's first choice, she went with the Fruit Loops. She decided to buy four of those. Each Fruit Loops cost, each box of Fruit Loops cost, $4.99 with four of them totaling $19.96. Oh boy. Now, Caitlin had to spend between four cents and a dollar four in order to win that new car. And I have to say, it looked very, very impossible. For her second choice, Caitlin went with the Airheads, and she decided to buy one of those, obviously. It had to be between four cents and a dollar four for her to win. And the Airheads were priced at a dollar twenty-nine cents. Adding that to 1996, her total was $21.25. And Kaylin went over by a quarter. Ah. Oh. Well, Drew revealed the rest of the prices for the grocery products, and uh, needless to say, none of them would have helped her. Ah. Oh. I think she. Bought one box too many of the Fruit Loops. But Caitlin still has the smartphone. Now it was time to find out who would be the first contestant to make it into the showcase with Showcase Showdown number one. Caitlin spun the wheel first, and in her first spin she landed on 25 cents. Oddly enough, 25 cents is how much she went over buying grocery game. Caitlin chose to spin again. And adding to the quarter in her first spin, she got in her second spin 55 cents for a total of 80 cents. Travis spun the wheel next, and in his first spin, he landed on 35 cents. He had to spin again. He needed to get at least 45 cents, but no more than 65 cents. And adding to the 35 cents in his first spin, Travis got in his second spin... 55 cents for a total of 90 cents. And he currently was the leader. Vivian spun the wheel last, and in her first spin, she landed on 90 cents. So she was currently tied with Travis. 
She can either spin again to see if she could get a nickel or a dime, or she could stay on 90 and take the spin off. Vivian, of course, chose to take the spin off. Now, for the spin off between Travis and Vivian. Travis spun first, and for his spin off spin, he landed on. 25 cents. Mm. And now for Vivian's spin off spin. She managed to land on. 55 cents! And Vivian was headed to the showcase. Vivian already won $10,000 playing half off. And she could definitely win a lot more prizes coming up in the showcases. Alright, the next contestant called to come on down was Peter Ho Ming Choi. And the next item up for bids was modeled by Gwendolyn on the turntable. It was a Danby 129 bottle storage capacity wine pool. The bids were Peter, $1,450, William, $1,300, Nicole, $1,200, and Amy, $1,451. And the actual retail price of the wine cooler was $1,999. Amy was the fourth contestant to play a pricing game. She joined Drew up on stage. Amy was wearing a Santa hat and a shirt that asked, Is it too late to be good? Well, <laughs> well it's never really too late to be good, but, you know, with it being Christmas time, Santa, of course, is watching. <laughs> he knows whether you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Now... Behind the curtain, Amy had a chance to win these prizes. They were a wood-fired pizza conversion kit, a 3D HDTV, a designer handbag collection, and a new sauna. First was a kettle pizza 10-piece wood-fired pizza conversion kit. One grill, a thermometer, toolkit, and more included. Second was a Samsung 65-inch LED 1080p Smart 3D HDTV, four pairs of glasses included. The wood fire pizza conversion kit and the HDTV were both modeled by Rachel. Third was a Michael Kors leather handbag collection. It included two satchels, two totes, and a quilted mini bag. And fourth was a Rocky Mountain Sauna Zero PMF Infrared Sauna. The handbag collection and the sauna were both modeled by Gwendolyn. Amy's pricing game was Take Two. Now, two of these four prizes totaled $5,250. If Amy could find the two prizes that were $5,250 in total, she'd win all four prizes. Amy's first chance was... Choosing the 3D HDTV and the sauna. The 3D HDTV drew revealed to be $3,700. So if my math is correct, that sauna had to be $1,550. And the price of the sauna was revealed to be... $2,595 for a total of... $6,295. So that was not the right combination, but Amy got a second chance. She could either keep the HDTV or the sauna, or discard both of them and choose the other two prizes. Amy chose to keep the HDTV and pair that up with the handbags. I felt this was a good choice. So we knew the HDTV was $3,700. Now, were those handbags the magic price of $1,550? By magic price, I mean that price adding to $3,700 to make it $5,250. Well, when Drew revealed the price of the Michael Kors leather handbag collection, it turned out that it was... $1,550 for a total of $5,250. Amy won all four prizes. Drew did not 
reveal the price of that wood-fired pizza conversion kit, but including the wine cooler, Amy currently won more than $9,844 in prizes. All right, the next contestant called to come on down was Rachel Podolsky. And the next item up for bids was a Burton Ladies Snowboarding Package. It included a snowboard with boots and bindings included, modeled by Rachel. The bids were Rachel, the contestant, $1,750. Peter, $1,100. William, $1,700. And Nicole, $1. And the actual retail price of the snowboarding package was $940. Nicole was the fifth contestant to play a pricing game. And she joined Drew at door number two to play that game. What Nicole had a chance to win was now... A trip to Jackson Hole, Wyoming for two. It is round trip coach from Los Angeles for a seven night stay in a suite at the Lexington at Jackson Hole. Daily breakfast plus a pair of two day lift tickets included. Modeled by Gwendolyn. Nicole's pricing game was double prices. Now the trip to Jackson Hole was either $7,256 the high price or $5,794, the low price. Nicole went with $7,256. Although it looked like she was having second thoughts, but it was too little too late to change her mind because Rachel took away $5,794 when, when she was looking to the audience, Nicole. And when Drew pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price of the trip to Jackson Hole, it turned out to be $5,794. I had a feeling that was going to be the price. But Nicole still has the snowboarding package. Alright, well, it's now time for me to mention the final contestant that was called to come on down as I have reached to that point of the recap already. The final contestant called to come on down today was Carol Jell. Her name, her last name is spelled G-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And the final item up for bids was a 21.5 inch Apple iMac desktop computer modeled by Gwendolyn. The bids were Carol, $1,200. Rachel, $995. Peter, $1,250, and William, $1,251. And the actual retail price of the iMac desktop computer was $1,499. William was the final contestant to play a pricing game. He joined Drew up on stage, and William was wearing a sweater that read the words, Plinko Bells. <laughs> Uh, kind of clever. Well, William was not going to be playing Plinko. But the good news was, George informed William that he was on Santa's nice list. And because of that, William was now going to have a chance to win. <laughs> Get ready for this, folks. A new Mercedes-Benz convertible! Oh, ho, 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 ho! It was the 2016 Mercedes-Benz Roadster SLK 300 convertible. Came equipped with a 2-liter direct injection engine, 9-speed automatic transmission with shift paddles, premium one package, sport package, burl walnut trim, chrome hood fin covers, rear deck spoiler, wheel locking bolts, retractable hardtop, plus paint and fabric protection. It's the Mercedes-Benz Roadster SLK 300, modeled by Rachel. And William was going to be playing 
My third favorite pricing game on The Price is Right, Three Strikes. Now, here were the numbers that were in the price of the Mercedes-Benz Roadster SLK 300. A 1, a 4, a 5, a 6, and a 7. And, of course, once those numbers went into the bag, Drew also put in the dreaded three strikes. Boo! That's some real coal to be placed in that stocking, known as the three strikes bag. So, when Drew shuffled up the chips inside the bag, it was time for the game to begin. Play ball! For Williams' first draw, he got strike one. Well, a little bit of a rough start, but hopefully he could improve from here. For his second draw, William pulled out the four. He believed that was the first number in the price of the Mercedes-Benz Roadster SLK 300. Was he right? No. So back in the bag it went. For his third draw, William pulled out the one. He believed that was the second number in the price. Was he right? No. Back in the bag it went. For his fourth draw, William pulled out the seven. He believed that was the second number in the price. Was he right? No. Back in the bag. For his fifth draw, William pulled out the one. Again. This time, William believed one was the third number in the price. Was he right? Yes, he was. One was the third number in the price of the Mercedes-Benz Roadster SLK 300. For his sixth draw, William pulled out strike two. Uh-oh. One more strike, and William is out. But Drew pointed out that the odds of William pulling a strike were now very slim. Now, for his seventh draw, William pulled out the six. He believed that was the first number in the price of the Mercedes-Benz Roadster. Was he right? No. Back in the bag, it went. For his eighth draw, William pulled out the seven again. He believed this time that number was the fourth number in the price. Was he right? Yes! Seven was the fourth number in the price. For his ninth draw, William pulled out the four. He believed that was the last number in the price. Was the four the fifth number? Yes, it was! So we got the last three numbers already. One, seven, and four. Now on to his tenth draw. William pulled out the six. Now, he already tried the six in the first spot, and that wasn't it. So he knew where it went. The second number. And, of course, that was right. So, there was one number remaining. That was the five. So, we know that the actual retail price of this Mercedes-Benz Roadster SLK 300 was $56,174. Now, the most important part for William was to pull out that five without, well, instead of pulling the third strike. So, this was his 11th and final draw. And, when William... Pulled the chip out of the bag. It turned out that he pulled on his 11th and final draw. Oh boy. Excuse me for a minute. Uh, I'm out of control myself here. So 
Just having a little bit of the sponsor I have for this week. Mm. I like some hot cheer right there. All right, what did uh, what did William pull out of the bag in his eleventh and final draw? It was. Oh man. Showcase showdown number two. Nicole spun the wheel first, and in her first spin, she landed on 55 cents. Nicole chose to spin again, and adding to the 55 cents in her first spin, Nicole got in her second spin 80 cents for a total of $1.35, and she went over. Amy spun the wheel next, and in her first spin, she landed on... Well, it looked like it was going to land on 90 cents, but the wheel just went past it and landed on 5 cents. Amy chose to spin again, obviously. And adding to the nickel in her first spin, Amy got in her second spin... A dime for a total of 15 cents. She didn't go over, but she got a very low score. Now it was William's turn to spin. And for his first spin, William landed on... 75 cents! Boy, was William having a day or what? He was going on to the showcase. He already won big in three strikes. And uh, he may end up winning a lot more in the showcases coming up. The top winner in the showcase was William, obviously, and the runner-up was Vivian. Showcase number one. The theme of the showcase was holiday music, and the prizes in that showcase were a musician's friend Hercules DJ console Formix DJ controller set, excuse me, a trip to Peru for two, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Lima for a six night stay in a deluxe king room at the Westin Lima Hotel. Daily breakfast and a guided food tour included. The DJ controller set and the trip to Peru were both modeled by Gwendolyn. And third was a Sun Tracker PB16 DLX pontoon party boat, trailer included, modeled by Rachel. So it's a. DJ controller set, or a DJ package, whatever you want to call it, a trip to Peru, and a new pontoon party boat. This showcase can either be for William or Vivian if the price is right. William chose to pass that showcase instead of bidding on it, and Vivian gave a bid of $23,000. All right, now on to showcase number two. It all began with George wearing an ugly sweater. Oh, it really wasn't ugly. And as he was standing next to his podium, that had a picture of a fireplace inside the screen. And the first prize was a trip to Alaska for two, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Anchorage, and then on to Moose Pass in a rental car. For a six night stay in a deluxe front cabin at the Summit Lake Lodge. Daily breakfast included, modeled by George. 
Second was a new dining room. It included a 62-inch reclaimed pine wood dining table with one bench, four chairs and wood console included. And also a Noritake 67-piece dinnerware collection with service for eight. All of that was modeled by Rachel. And um, George held up some mistletoe to represent the next prize in William's showcase. Well, he was telling William that he would kiss underneath that mistletoe a new car! It was a 2016 Dodge Dart FC. Came equipped with a 2-liter engine, 6-speed automatic transmission, convenience group, and rally package modeled by Gwendolyn. So it's a trip to Alaska, a new dining room, and a new car. And this showcase can all be for William if the price is right. William gave a bid of $29,000. All right. So when the show came back from its final commercial break, Drew went to Vivian first for the showcase reveal. She bid $23,000 on her showcase. The actual retail price was $30,756. For a difference of $7,756. Now over to William. William bid $29,000 on his showcase. And the actual retail price of William's showcase was... Pardon me, I had to take another drink of the gingerbread spice. Anyway. Well, well, well. $29,370! For a difference of $370. William was $120 shy of winning both showcases, but he became the showcase winner still with that spectacular bid. Well, like I said before, this was William's day. Man, he, he won the Mercedes-Benz in three strikes. He won his showcase. Um, his total winnings from today was... This is quite a haul for him. $87,043 in prizes. Man, oh man. <laughs> what a day. So, the pricing game wins today came in half off. Flip-flop, take two, and three strikes. So we had four out of six games won today. That included the ten grand one in half off. And also the um, soft serve dessert maker and the iron was one. So the MVPs of the Price is Right are Vivian, Travis, Amy, and of course, William. Now, the following acknowledgement is from BJMTV Canada's own Ben Mason. Three strikes won on the same day two years in a row? Unreal! I don't know why. I just don't know why. You know, three strikes was played in the sixth slot for the first time since September 19, 2011. The day four cars were up for grabs from race game and won. And you may find this hard to believe. Three strikes... Three Strikes is on a winning streak for the first time since April 22, 2011. The same week when television's goofiest announcer permanently joined, The Price is Right. Alright, now on to the wins of the week from December 14th through the 18th. On Monday, December 14th, Do the Math was won for a Honda CRF 125FB big wheel motorcycle worth $3,199, and a 15-inch MacBook Pro laptop computer worth $2,259, plus $940 in cash, won by Bridget. Squeeze Play was won for a trip to Puerto Rico worth $6,368, won by Colin, and Pick a Pair was won for a General Electric 5-burner gas range, a Homestyles molded concrete dinette set, and a $1,200 Krispy Kreme gift certificate worth $5,617 won by Angelina. 
from Tuesday, December 15th. Master Key was won for a trip to Lake Tahoe and a Nissan Sentra SV won by Delia. She won two keys and um, one key was the trip to Lake Tahoe and the other key was for the car. From Wednesday, December 16th, Race Game was won for a Lenovo 14-inch touchscreen laptop computer with an HP printer included worth $1,329. A Samsung dishwasher worth $699. A Polaris Outlaw 90 ATV worth $2,799. And a Crystal Sauna, two-person sauna worth $3,490. With 38 seconds remaining, won by Daniel. That's right, he, he won that in seven seconds. Amazing. From Thursday, December 17th, $10,000 was won in Grand Game, won by Roderick. And on Friday, December 18th, bonus game was won for a Homestyles bedroom group plus a $100 monthly food credit from DoorDash worth $6,301 won by Aaron. And pocket change won for a Mazda 3i SV sedan worth $18,479 won by Michael. No, it wasn't me. The Price is Right pricing and recap this week is sponsored by Blue Moon Gingerbread Spiced Ale. And I couldn't help but take a drink of this, especially for that result in three strikes. So holiday shows continue tomorrow, and I will be back to present the recap for that show. So, um... I thank you all for inviting me onto your devices. Thanks for watching. And until tomorrow, don't forget to help control the pet population by having your pets spayed or neutered. This is Mr. Horgan saying good night, and I'll see you all tomorrow.